All right, welcome to the July 31st and on credit specification working group. A um, couple of things to look at the recent work on CL signatures, PRs, and the quarterly report that I've put together. Uh, not a lot of controversy there. I really just did want to take a look at the PRs on the spec. So that's the big thing. It would probably be a short meeting, but it is a Linux Foundation Hyperledger meeting. So the antitrust policy and code of conduct are in effect. Um, I think we know all, everyone here. So I'm just going to jump into the PRs, which I realize are not linked in here. So um, I'll use this as a, as a way to jump over. Oh, nope. Okay, and that's not really what I wanted to do. So I'll try it one more time and see how good my clicking can get. Nope, not going to do it. Oh, I know why, because I'm not editing. Anyway. Okay. So the Tails file generation is the one that's bugging me the most. Could you explain it a bit to me? Um, so you and I talked about this in the tails file generation. So it actually is, there's two values produced per point, per point, correct? Yeah. So this isn't described here correctly. So it's saying that ju there's just a point per and it's generated in sequence, but in fact, two numbers are generated and they're put in the first half and the second half of the file, correct? Mm -hmm. And the first value, the very first entry is repeated. The very first entry is repeated. So this is right. There's two bytes for the version. Then there's one to L are points associated with credentials one to L. Then there's an L plus one. That's a duplicate of the first entry, which is a filler. Yeah, it could be anything, but exactly, we uh, didn't want to just remove it um, because we can maintain compatibility. Correct. By leaving it there. Yeah, and then there's L plus two to two L plus one, which are again points associated with credential one to L. Yeah, I I thought it was a little strange, but I I did a test. The other day with one entry and and there were three tails um points in there meaning sorry what was that uh i generated a tails file with just one entry oh, was, yeah right resulted in three points um but one thing i noticed this is this is this extra one is just a single point not whereas this is a point and this is this is a set of points and this is a set of points correct yeah yeah okay so there's 2n plus 1 or 2l plus 1 2l plus 1 right okay yes okay good so i'll get that clarified in that we use sha 256 that's explicit Yeah, okay. So we I can see the size right of the points isn't isn't right here. Okay. Definitely not 12 bytes. But is that are they six bytes each? That's this is saying each point is six bytes each. No. Oh, okay. They're, um minimum of 32 bytes. Okay. For, for a coordinate. 256 bits. Um, this has bytes size as 128. 
seems large. Yeah, that seems large. No, no, that is right. Yeah, is it's that... because it outputs them uncompressed. Um, yeah, there's some talk of ECP having ECP2 having three components there, but it's uh, converted to affine form, uh, which only has two components. And it could have been output compacted and only have one component, but it's not. It's output. Okay. Compressed. Hold on. This seems too large, though. And each point or each. Sorry, 256 bits is 32 bytes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, but hold on. But is that divided into the two points? So is a point two coordinates? So we're on we're on G two. So each uh, coordinate is two field elements, which is thirty. Which each of those is thirty two bytes. So we end up with four elements and one hundred and twenty eight bytes total. Okay. The the comments do refer to a uh, first point that isn't used and it seems to be generated. So I'm, I need to go through and see if it's skipping it somewhere in the output. Um, Okay. Is the yeah, the generator does I think it does calculate g dash times gamma to the zero, which is just g dash and which is very useful. So each coordinate is two field elements and there's two coordinates per point and they're done in, and they're generated separately, uh, a coordinate and then a coordinate for every credential and then another coordinate for every credential. So these up here, are coordinates. These aren't points, these are coordinates up here. They're they're points. Okay, these are points. Oh so, and two, two point two points are core is a coordinate. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the wording right. Two two field elements is a coordinate. Uh, two coordinates is a is a point. So the you have a point uh, which is made up of an x and a y, and each x and a y has uh, components named a and b in this code. So okay. we have to put x a, x b, y a, y b. But these are coordinates made up of elements. Now they're, they're points. So each each one of those is four components total. But these are the these are the first ones. So there's two points. Yeah. Credential. Okay. Two points credential made up of 
So 256 bytes per entry. 256 bytes per entry. You're going to count the first and the second one. Okay. Sorry, that's probably more confusing. 128 bytes. Okay. And each element, so elements X and Y, which are made up of two point a uh, two <laughs> A and B. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh sorry. I think the point is made up of, of components and sorry. Point is made up of coordinates and the coordinate is made up of two elements. Okay. I think that's the right terminology. Two field elements. Okay. Okay. Got it right. Yeah. So there, it's output as um, X A X B Y A Y B. Okay. In big ending format. Looks good. Yeah. So so each one of those field elements is just a an integer modulo the field order. Uh, sorry, the curve order. Which is a, a big prime number, which is 254 bits. You don't really need to write that there, I don't think. <laughs> yeah unless you want to yeah i was separating it out if if anything but that's okay okay good okay thanks i could tell that wasn't right so There's other ones here, but I don't think we need to go into them one by one. I think these ones are. Okay. I still think we've got phrasing on it, so we want to get these right. Okay. Um, as far as the CL signatures library, are you um, completed with it? 
I know it's being used in we've got a PR for a non for a non creds RS. Um, yeah, so there's, I mean, the zero one is out there and it's used in the Occupy zero nine right now. Yeah. Um, and then I had one update to rename faster secret to link secret. Um, but I, I realized we were probably being excessively strict by banning uh, all infinity points. Right. Because oh, that's the conversation we wanted to have with Mike today. Shoot. Yeah. That's why I haven't we... looked, but I'm I'm fairly certain there there's revocation registries on the on the ledger that yeah have, uh the infinity point in them yeah. and it's probably credentials as well that have witnesses that are an infinity point. An infinity point would be zero. Would manifest as being zero. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that before. I was surprised. I went looking yesterday when this came up. And okay. I the first one I looked at, I didn't see, but I know I've seen it before. Because even when some I, of the test data, like a non-creds has a a test revocation registry that happens to be infinity. Yeah. I I know there was one. Well, I know I found it because when I wrote it, it, I actually put that into the spec that it's just zero if you right. have it. Um, well, it's it's mostly zero, but because of the way the points are output, the C component might have a big number in it, mm -hmm. but it's effectively zero. Yeah. Okay. Well, we couldn't get this nailed down, but um, let's let's see what we can get. I was actually expecting Mike to be here and hoping you would be, and we got the reverse, interestingly. <laughs> um, and then we've got a PR for a non-creds um, RS for what um, uh, Akif has done, which is replacing or so with an on creds. I don't know if anyone's had a chance to take a look at this, um, but it would be good to to get this one merged as well, so we could have the new um, Ariel. You, the AFJ folks, will need to get this version in so that you get the fixes for CL signatures and get rid of Ursa. So. Yeah. Um, it would be good, Andrew, if you can go through this one and and Ariel, maybe you could go through this one to make sure this this uh, uh, Akif Akif has done this correctly and gotten the right pieces in. Yeah, I've been I've been working with Akif. I sent him a few patches that have been merged in there. Okay, good, good. So the, the, this, this 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 will not introduce any change on the API or anything, right? Uh, he has. Um, You'd have to take a look. I don't think so, um, but he has done the FFIs, oh. pages, and the JavaScript. There's there's a small change to... Okay. So you'd have to take a look at that. Okay. Yeah, so the method for creating a, a credential, uh, the revocation info doesn't require a tails file anymore for the issuer. Ah, great. Um, and the method for updating a revocation registry uh, doesn't require a tails file, but it does require the cred def and the revocation private key. I think those are the only API changes. So those, mm -hmm. those changes did go through, okay. Yeah, those are both on the issuer side. Nothing different for the verifier or the prover, um, except that the prover will 
produce a newer version of the non-revocation proof that requires a, an upgraded verifier. So, so the net of that is you want to update all your verifiers because because um, there's a setting possible that verifiers can, can accept old and new proofs, and then once you update the holders, then they're always submitting new ones. So there's a sequencing, unfortunately, in this. And um, also the issuers will want to recreate their revocation registries. Yeah. Well, and on creds, I mean, I believe, Ariel, you're just adding the the issue or revocation now, correct? We will like, yes, but uh, we can. Yeah. So you definitely, before you release that, you definitely want this change, this in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah. I think it, it will be quite straightforward to, to adapt because it's, it's just, as Andrew said, it's just uh, a few, uh, parameters that change on the issuer side and so as soon as it is ready we, we will we will integrate it on good IPA. okay good um we should add notes to be more explicit about what changes in the interface so the tails file is not needed on issuance no yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And also not needed on revocation, but revocation, you need the cred def and revocation private key. Yeah. Okay. So I'll add a it's, note to the, to the PR to make sure that's understood. Because for, for some reason, part of the revocation key is in the cred def as well. Right. Only there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I've got a draft of the um, quarterly report um, that I will link to just so people can take a look at it. It talks about the, the biggest thing being the release of the non-creds Rust implementation and inclusion in the uh, framework JavaScript um, release 04, the um, transition of URSA CL signatures um, and ready with, I said tails file generation process is about a 50% improvement, give or take, and other revocation issuance and, and revocation about 25%. I think that's what you said. Um, I think the, I think the 50% was like, uh, creation of a new revocation registry with issuance by default on. Okay. So the tails generation was improved maybe like 20%, but the, just creating the initial state of the registry was really slow and that, that's gone down from seconds to milliseconds okay got it i got a there, there's an issue on indie vdr to create one of these i'm not even sure what umbrella it would be under To create what's an indie report? Yeah, no, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I'll be doing all of them. There's all three are due, and I do I take a pass at them. What I'm trying to do is get it out in the community more. Um, 
there isn't too much going on as mentioned on once we get the one zero one zero um and then the big thing is with the specifications we've got Aritra doing the mentorship to get the final documentation into the spec and then the 2.0 spec as formalized um I haven't done this yet I think there's more to do uh, I haven't checked the uh, stats so this is just to be added um the maintainers is the same contributors are probably um, the same I think there might be another one in the uh, contributors. I just got the specs. It looks like they haven't included the um, CL signatures um, repository yet in these quarterly stats. So um, these will be up a little, but that was down. There was a lot less going on just because the the work on the 1.0 completed early on in the in the quarter. So a lot less going on. Everything was going on in AFJ particularly so the uh is the spec included in the stats yeah 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 it's the cl signatures one that's not yet hopefully it'll get added you've got uh the implementation repositories you've got an on creds rs twice um No. It just happens to be the the line break. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. These are the insights. And again, it doesn't have it. Um, notably, I could tell because your name's not here at all, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> so that told me that the uh um the CL signatures is not there. So we'll get that added in. Not, I don't think there's that many commits. Yeah. Fairly important ones, though. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, any other topics anyone wanted to raise at this meeting? All right, if not, um, there's no meeting next week. I'll make sure people know. And then from now on, um, the all the meetings are at this time. The, the meeting that was 10 o'clock Pacific time previously, so three hours later every second week, we've moved it to this time. Um, we did it so Mike could make it, but um, he didn't make it. <laughs> anyway, all good. And um, thanks for attending. Um, I, I guess I can mention just uh, for yeah. implementers, because um, Indie VDR is still relying on URSA at the moment. Oh, right. Uh, so once we merge the did, in, did Indie stuff, um, I can copy over the point validation stuff from a non cred CL signatures into BLS signatures and then we'll use that crate instead of versa okay good i didn't think it was used in indie i guess it makes sense it is ursa yeah well no the indie oh sorry the cl signatures isn't it's the bls yeah oh got it so it was including ursa with just the bls feature got it yes yes okay Okay, good. And if you want to use, um, if you want to have Akif do that, he'd probably be happy. He's on some other things, so. But anyway, he's available for you to do any rest work that he could possibly get his hands on. He loves that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks all. Have a good week. Yes, yeah. you. Bye-bye.